Hey everybody, so as I said the last time, it's the time of the Chinese Communist Party virus. No new movies are coming out, but that doesn't matter, because since the beginning of Hollywood, millions of movies have been made, and even though writing about movies is my profession, I've recently come to realize the obvious. I haven't seen them all. And my job, in addition to recommending what's good in movie land, is to recover movie land's uncut gems and gold nuggets that deserve polishing. So even though the virus has shut down Hollywood production for the time being, it can't shut down Epoch Times movie reviews, especially our category of rewind, review, and re-rate. And so the saying, so many movies, so little time, is for the foreseeable future, null and void. We've got time, and all anybody is doing right now is watching movies. So today, I'm rewinding, reviewing, and re-rating a little scene, old Adam Sandler movie called Click which is about imagining if you had a remote control that could remove all the bad stuff from your life. So don't go away. So last week I talked about a Ben Stiller comedy that got slammed by critics on Rotten Tomatoes and which I discovered was actually a treasure trove regarding certain issues I think are important to talk about today. So this week, likewise, I'm choosing something by Stiller's equivalent in underrated Hollywood comedies, Adam Sandler. Let's talk about one of his movies that got critics slammed even worse than Stiller's on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, so Sandler plays a workaholic uh, architect named Michael Newman who gets his hands on a fairy tale type magic wand in the form of an all-purpose remote control. It lets him remove the tedious, the inconvenient, and the uncomfortable from his life via the fast forward, mute, pause, and rewind buttons. Not to mention color adjustment, volume control, a making of option, chapters, and commentary with James Earl Jones doing the voiceover. The Bell Telephone Yellow Pages, do the book can match it. Basically, it gives you your life as a special edition DVD. Who wouldn't want one of those, right? Ah, but this is a Faustian tale where you sell your soul to the devil to get good things in life. See, one of the unseen laws of the cosmos is, in order to gain things, you have to lose things. And like the film's distant cousin, It's a Wonderful Life, in which Jimmy Stewart's character sees what life would have been like without his existence, in Click, Adam Sandler's Michael Newman sees what life would have been like without the bad in it. Now, life with no bad in it is good, right? No. It's worse. It's way worse. See, Michael's got too much on his plate. He has to bring home the bacon and keep his boss, played by David Hasselhoff, and his wife, played by Kate Beckinsale, his two kids, parents, and dog, happy. He himself is not happy, which is why he forms an immediate addiction to the all-purpose life remote. So when Michael ends up in the Beyond section of Bed Bath & Beyond, looking for a universal remote that he needs at home, he encounters Christopher Walken as a guy named Morty demos the basics of how to use the remote. Michael is sold. The supernormal power of the gadget reveals itself to Michael when he points the remote at his yapping dog and turns down the volume. And from there, it doesn't take long before he's fast forwarding through arguments with his wife and pausing his boss's bullying so he can kick him in places where it hurt really bad when he unpauses. But what Michael finds he really likes is the fast forward function. So like TiVo's favorites feature, which analyzes the shows that you watch and selects other shows that you might enjoy, his magic wand clicker starts skipping weeks and then months and then years and eventually decades. His wife divorces him and marries the boy's smarmy, speedo-wearing swim coach, played by Sean Astin. Michael gains 300 pounds. His dad, Henry Winkler, dies. Now, believe it or not, some of this is actually tragic, like where you're going, oh my god, freaking Adam Sandler is actually making me feel very sad. Who knew? Very surprising. There are some exceedingly funny moments and plenty of, uh, stop, moments. But all in all, I couldn't believe I actually watched an Adam Sandler movie I thought I'd never ever watch and pretty much enjoyed it. So my favorite thing that I like to do with movies, by trademark or niche, besides blowing the whistle on Hollywood's creeping communism, which is slowly destroying our American values, my other favorite thing is that I like to talk about the highly esoteric parallels and the instances of higher spiritual concepts that are hiding in plain sight in seemingly stupid movies like Click. See, what that clicker in Click represents is an ability to skip around 
in what's known in ancient literature as the Akashic Chronicle or Akashic Record. Imagine that the Big Bang of when the cosmos came into existence, that it didn't just produce this one time space that we live in, but it also generated hundreds of time spaces spanning a range from extremely slow times to ones that go extremely fast. And, and each, each one, a version of you exists. exists. Some say that one's entire life already exists across the span of all of these other dimensions with bonds connecting all the different yous like the bonds between atoms. And if you could jump to a slower dimension, you'd see yourself being born. And if you jump to a faster dimension, you'd see yourself being lowered into your grave. So what's that got to do with anything? If your life is already planned in advance, it means that if you don't just go with the flow and you willfully try and force your life to do something, you'll gain karma. And then more lifetimes will start bubbling up and developing, where a plan is set up for you to pay off that karma in your next lifetimes. So how do we avoid creating karma for ourselves by trying to skip all the bad stuff? Don't freaking skip all the bad stuff. Bad stuff is karma from our previous lives when we tried to go against the tide and created suffering for ourselves in this lifetime. And so ultimately, this under the radar Sandler comedy addresses a giant truth. Go with the flow. The ancient Chinese called it Wu Wei. Live in the now. Breathe. Walk the middle path. Don't let life's pain drag you down too far. And don't let life's ecstatic highs get you all crazy. See, our modern instant gratification society only wants to experience happy life and take painkillers and antidepressants to avoid the rest of it. So this movie about a gizmo that allows Michael to shirk his responsibilities is a little wake-up call. It blows the whistle on our culture's instant gratification laziness. We have to learn to take the bad with the good and be grateful for all of it at all times. It's kind of the upside of what the CCP virus is doing. It's giving us pause. We start to appreciate the things that we took for granted and we get to watch a lot of movies, which means I still have a job. So that's my review of Click, directed by Frank Caracci. It's rated PG-13. The runtime is one hour and 47 minutes. The release date was June 23rd, 2006, and I'm giving it three out of five stars. Have you seen Click? What'd you think about it? Let me know what you thought by commenting below, and if you like what you see, click right here for more. And if you'd like to read my reviews instead of watching them, Google Mark Jackson Epoch Times, or check me out on Rotten Tomatoes. Until next time.